both WTI and Brent at the moment above $30 a barrel. Could this price rebound be sustained? Well, that is the key question going into this week. Uh, we are seeing, as you mentioned, West Texas Intermediate up 4.5%. Uh, above 30, near 31, and that's after a 19% gain last week. Another key question is, will we see oil prices go back to zero as the current contract rolls over? If we go into the Bloomberg, you'll see that there's a lot of support for the June contract, and many believe the answer is no, but it was just one month ago, April 20th, that we saw the benchmark West Texas Intermediate contract plunge to minus $38 a barrel, and there are many traders that are watching that closely. Again, it does not look like we're shaping up for a repeat. Check out the big picture price chart, and you'll notice that oil prices have recovered by 60-plus percent just in the past three weeks. We've had three straight weeks of gains, and we're kicking off Monday with more gains, and that has a lot to do with a pickup in fuel demand coupled by those steep and urgent cuts by OPEC. They did indeed follow through with the 10 million barrel cut. Um, and anybody who has been a long-term observer of OPEC and their promises versus their actual actions has been stunned. Citigroup's Ed Morris says the actual production cuts are deeper and more spectacular than any reasonable person would have thought like a week ago. And then you also have the U.S. shale oil production, which was swiftly cut back. So all of that shaping up for a positive uh, bullish oil environment. You've seen Brent crude also stabilize. And so there's a lot of optimism that, as OPEC is indicating, the worst may be over for the oil markets. But, Sue, this early start to the hurricane season in the U.S. could throw some more volatility into the mix? Yeah, it really could. We don't even typically get the forecast for hurricane season until later in the week, but we already have a tropical storm, Tropical Storm Arthur, off the coast of North Carolina, which is not an oil area. But what's important is that's two weeks ahead of the start of the oil season, I mean hurricane season, which is June 1st. And there are many that are saying the pattern of this tropical storm and those behind it is very close to 2005, and that was a record year for hurricanes, 28 hurricanes that year. Many are hoping it does not repeat. Back to you.